Hello with everybody, so Bud Night Twig Nightmare, and welcome back to Umi Neko. Now then, today's episode is going to be a little bit short, because at the moment I'm kind of a, a little bit down with this sort of flu that's been going around where I'm at right now. Kind of a weird bug. But, needless to say, I don't need you guys, I don't want you guys listening to me, you know, sniffling or coughing. So, uh, unfortunately I don't think this is going to be another two hour. I mean, unless the segment is two hours, and I'll just have to put up with it, but, anyway, uh, I also hopped up on a bunch of cold medicine, so, hopefully we're going to get, oh, god, that hurt. Chapter 7, Sprout of Love, Root of Love, One Year Later. Four years until the crime. This is your name? Hey, Mammon. Otakote, those them little to back a back and in a room, the show, ne? Well, I'm already a total moron, so. Jessica's room is filled with laughter. なんつうかさ、厳密するわけだぜ。ちょっと大人びてて<笑> Girl talk. The fun chat between girls continued without end. Tonight, Cross and Natsuhi were out late at a meeting on Nijima. Normally, Natsuhi was always watching, so Jessica would always make sure to be curt with the young servants, but when Natsuhi wasn't around, Jessica never did that. She had invited the servants of similar age to her room and they were chatting away noisily. At that age, everyone wants to know about love. Thanks to the rigid and constructing way Jessica had been brought up, she enjoyed talking of love all the more. お嬢様だって素敵だし、お年頃だし、気になる男の子がいらっしゃるんじゃないですか？こ、恋はしてるけど、気になる男子ってとな、なかなかな。お嬢様はもっと恋に積極的でもいいと思うんです。余裕
Uso tsuita ara hari senbon no masu! I don't know. I heard porcupine fish is actually a delicacy. Ah, hai. Yakusoku shimasu. But it must be pretty terrible if you guys are... Or wait. I don't know. Maybe I'm too... Maybe, maybe I'm because I'm sick, I'm slow, and I'm not getting the obvious... An obvious joke. それが嘘をついてる顔ですよ。絶対この中でシャノンちゃんが生き抜けする。私には分かるんです。僕ってそんな子がいつもみんな私抜くんです。なんだよ、この野郎。白状しろ。白状しろ。お許しください。お嬢
Her daughter, Angie-sama, was growing well, and all of the family focused their attention on her. Also, Maria-sama, though she was still small back then, was already five years old. She was full of energy and old enough to enjoy playing with Georgie-sama. Jessica-sama and Georgie-sama had already stopped talking about battler sons absence. It was the same with the other relatives, too. No one touched upon the subject as though they had forgotten that battler son was missing. Maria-sama had only been three when she last saw battler son. It was doubtful whether she even remembered him. In just two years, all trace of your existence has been erased from the Ushida Mia family conference. That made me sad. And so... そうだね。彼が来なくて寂しいかい。それはその。Are you going to you seem a little eager to get rid of Balor there, or maybe I'm just reading into your words a little too much. Kareは新しい人生のステージに向かって羽ばたいていった。そういうことじゃないのかな。無鉄砲のハチャメチャなやつだったけど、ま、男ってのはそういうもんなのかもしれねえぜ。彼のことだからね。新しい生活も。Part of me is thinking that George is saying this on purpose. Just part of me is thinking that, honestly. When George-sama said that with a smile, I felt a bit uncertain. What does he mean by, there's no reason to worry? Uh, Jessica, don't. うん。きっとそうだよ。そして僕はそれが一番だと思うな。バトラ君は自分と家族、そして亡くなったお母さんのことを考えて新しい生き方を自ら選択した。なら、その新しい人生にまっすぐに生きてほしいね。後ろ見
And wasn't George-sama talking about it too? He said that battler had gotten used to his new life and had forgotten about the Ushidomiya family. And by now, he isn't the only one who's forgotten. Unless I ask about it, everyone on this island has forgotten his name. Even Runoff-sama doesn't say his name anymore. If I weren't here to remember his face, perhaps his existence would have been erased from everyone's hearts. I don't believe that, so I won't doubt. battler must still remember his promise. We're both waiting for the day of decision. The day we'll be together. Son, I firmly made up my mind. Does the fact that you're not here mean that after all I'm not determined enough? No. It's because you and God are testing me, isn't it? In that case, I will endure. Until that promised day inevitably comes. So, please, Valor Son, I want some proof that you haven't forgotten me. It was the crack that ran across my ceramic-like heart. I had to acknowledge it now. It may be that I'm pretending not to notice something terrifying and sad. Valorson makes me yearn for him. Valorson makes me sad. Valorson makes it hurt. Valorson, do you still remember me now? One year later. Three years until the crime. And then came the third family conference since battler left. If the number of beds was going to increase, we would be told about that when st setting up. The fact that nothing has changed in particular means that he probably won't be here this year either. Clinging to a final bit of hope, I stood by the docks watching the boat draw closer. Yo, Shannon Chan. ほら、エンジェ。足元に気をつけて。やあ、シャノン。やっぱり六軒島はいいね。早くクラウス<笑> ありがとうございます。今年もいい天気や。こうして親族誰一人かけることなく元気に揃うのは実にめでたいことや。いいでよし、よ。ああ。それでは皆様お屋敷に行わないいたします。いいでよし、oh. oh. poor choice of words. Ah. Oh. So after all, battler has been so thoroughly forgotten that he might not have existed in the first place. The sadness must have shown on my face. Not wanting anyone to see it, I turned my back to the family and led the way up to the mansion. Then suddenly, someone mentioned battler name and I jumped. え、<laughs> I was surprised. So Kiriyasama was in touch with battler -san. According to her, both battler and Rudasama had already calmed down after their fight, but both were so stubborn that they hadn't found a good chance to make up. Also, and, since battler had gotten used to living with his grandparents and going to school there, and considering that those grandparents might make things even more difficult, going to convince battler to come home wouldn't be easy. バトラ君とルドルフさん、2人だけのものじゃなくなってる。じゃあ、バトラはその家帰ってくるんですかルドルフさんと仲直りをするけれど、後ろ宮家に帰ってくるつもりはないみたい。仕方ないわ。気持
This is how honest my feelings for you are now. I love you. I want to see you again as soon as I can. Until that time, I'll keep that bud of love warm and growing for you. I won't doubt the coming of that day anymore. Just as I think of you under the same sky, I believe that you are thinking of me. I'm sure this news about him is a sign that God is cheering me on. So I asked God one more time, inside my heart. Since my feelings for Balarsan have not wavered for a day these past three years, let me know that he feels the same way. I know that asking for that is a sin. However, now that we've reached a three-year returning point, I want some gift from God. Any gift to show that I have not waited in vain. That is what I prayed. Huh? Did God really hear my prayers? I felt as though my heart was going to leap out of my chest. Kinesama pulled a brown envelope out of her bag and handed it to George Sama. Just one? When George Sama opened it, several folded letters came out. Oh god. Why is this telling me that Shannon didn't get one? Oh god. Thank you. あとで読んで聞かせるわ。ありがとう。I called it. George Sama handed me the empty envelope. Apparently, he thanked me because he thought I was offering to throw it away for him. And clearly, there was nothing inside it. There was no letter from me. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to あ、毎日が充実してるってさ。私の方にも総会でやる。楽しく過ごせてるなら、総理は結構なことだぜ。ああ。ストップ。バトラ君たら Oh no! Hey, that's great。バトラは変に気ざったらしくて笑えるとこがあるから、そういうの好きなかもいるだろうな。Oh Damn it! <sighs> oh my god, and she's still... She's still telling herself this. Damn. I knew that all of these letters were trials from God. That the fact that there was no letter for me, that the fact that he was enjoying life and had forgotten about Rokunjima, were, were just more trials. He is... God is... testing me. The, the fact that there was no letter for me alone is proof of that. But that's what I want to think. But now it's just too much. Antony thought that it was a important thing to do. それじゃ、
かっこつけただけの意味のない言葉だったのかもな。To an outside observer, it would seem genuinely funny. That promise with Balor might have been an illusion the whole time. In the first place, we don't know if they both felt the same way about each other at all. Love is an illusion. However, if both sides are seeing the same illusion, the love becomes true. However, when the feelings of each side are different, then it's nothing more than a joke. これがバトラの罪だ Yeah. That's Balor's sin. 約束と誤解させたこと Oh. 違う。それを覚えてさえいなかったことだ。Yeah. 破った約束ならなじることもできる。But he didn't even remember. 食いることもあるいは取り返すことも。でも覚えてさえいないことは何も問い詰めることができません。バトラさんを憎むことなどできません。バトラさんは約束を破ってさえいないのですから。ただ初めから約束などなかった。ただただ悲しいだけの滑稽な物語。I kept on crying and crying. I dug my fingernails into my pillow, soaking it with my tears. How much easier it would be to hate something. But I can't hate anything. I just couldn't get over my miserable arrogance, which had led me to believe for three whole years that he felt the same as I did. Warawa no se da. Warawa ga m u s e k i m i ni mo. バトラが約束してくれたかのようにそなたに不意調してしまったのだいいえ誰も悪くないんです私が彼の気持ちも私と同じだと決めつけてしまったから約束こそバトラはしなかったしかしバトラの気持ちは決していい加減なものではなかったはずそなたのそれに比べれば確かに多少の温度差はあろうしかしそなたのことを好いていたのは間違いないそれだけは間違いないもうやめてください私が好きなように彼も私を好きだと何の疑いもなく信じてきましたああ慰めないでくださいむしろ嘲笑ってください。Before I knew it, a dull, inescapable pain had pierced my chest. When I pressed my hand against my chest, I realized what that pain was. It was the bud of love which I had sown the seeds of and raised in my heart. Its roots had spread throughout my chest, tormenting me like a metal wire wrapped around my heart. Rather than roots, it looked as though there were fissures running through my heart. I could only hold back the pain by tearing out the root of love. But not no matter how much I scratch at it, I'm only scratching at my chest. The root of love doesn't move at all. If I started hating Battler's song without any lingering interest or regrets, I'd be able to pull out this root easily. Once I did, it would probably leave a hole behind, but at least it wouldn't hurt me anymore. But I can't pull it out. Even though it hurts so much, those roots of love are still stuck in my heart. Sonu. Watashi. Ima mo. Batra san no koto ga. Daiski des. Ai tai des. Kaette kite hoshii des. Itsuka. Kitto kaette kara to shinjite. Kore kara mo machi tsuke tai no ni. Demo. As I sobbed, the tightness of my chest grew even stronger. 
As long as I like Battler Son, that pain will always continue. Because I like him, I want to hold on to that pain forever. But it was written right there in the letters for George Sama and the others. Battler doesn't plan on returning the Ushidomi a family. He's forgotten about me and Rokunjima, and has started a new life with a different name. I must wait for him for all eternity, despite how painful, aching, and excruciating this is. Beatrice hung her head in shame. If she hadn't encouraged Shannon so much, it probably wouldn't have been this painful. Shannon may have been the one to sow the seed of love in her heart. However, Beatrice had irresponsibly watered it and told Shannon not to give up. Beatrice scratched at her chest, trying to share Shannon's pain. Beatrice mumbled to herself. あなたに何の私の歯ぐくんだ恋の目どんなに辛くとも忘れることなどありませんしかしその痛みにもう耐えることはできないのであろうWordlessly <笑> Shannon held her chest and hung her head feeling burns inside me, so that I still cannot let it go no matter how much it hurts. And I've spent three years pretending that I didn't feel that pain. Now I know that I feel it. And since I know, I can't bear it. Yes. <laughs>人は宇宙を持たねば生きられぬ。そして宇宙は一人では生み出せぬ。二人いるのだ。宇宙。そなたは恋の目という宇宙をバトラとその片方が欠けたから、そなたの宇宙が壊れたのだ。宇宙は一人では何も成し得のだ。でも私の宇宙を生み出すもう一人のパトラさんは帰ってきません。ならばパトラ以外のものと新しい宇宙を生み出すしかない。パトラさん以外の誰かと。生み出すというのですかその誰かを我らが与えよう。What?誰かって何ですかそなたの心を傷を埋め癒してくれる存在だ。そいつはそなたを裏切らぬ。そう。そなたの新しい兄弟だ。Oh! 
The birth of Cannon. そういう宇宙が必要だ。では、この胸の恋の目はどうするのですか。私のアトラさんへの気持ちは変わりません。枯れさせることなどできません。わらわが代わりに引き受けよう。Beatrice wanted to know love. She wanted to feel what Shannon had felt in the world of humans. もし、バトラが帰ってくる日が訪れた時、まだこの目が枯れずにいて、そなたが望んだなら、この目をそなたに返そう。それならばどうか。Still hanging her head, Shannon gave a small nod but said nothing. It would mean release from this unbearable pain and it would mean giving the bud of love to the witch to hold in her place. Shannon spread the hands that she had held to her chest. As she did, a faint light popped out of her chest and floated in the air, gradually swallowing everything with its brightness. As the brilliant light began to fade away, Shannon and Beatrice, still facing each other, were now inside a vast starry sphere like a planetarium. They were the only ones in this pitch-black starry sea. Shannon felt as though she'd seen this place once before, but she couldn't remember. Then, I made another announcement. This way, Shannon won't be tormented by the bud of love anymore. And furthermore, she'll be given a little brother with whom she can create a new universe. The design for the little brother will be a younger boy at the Fukuin House with whom Shannon was close. For name, let there be a non, as Fukuin House rule states. I believe that that symbol meant non. Yeah, I've decided. That's a perfect name to go with Shannon's. He'll be a quiet, reticent boy. He'll come to Rokinjima as a new servant. There he'll open his heart to Shannon. As a duty-minded boy who loves Shannon like a big sister, he'll always be there for Shannon. Let's have him be a special servant like Genji, who is permitted to serve Kinzo directly. Yeah, that sounds kind of cool. And then Beatrice, from now on you will carry the bud of love. In other words, the role of being infatuated with Battler and waiting for his return will go to you. While you are still the witch who reigns over Okinjima's night, you have also been waiting for Ushidomiya Battler ever since that day three years ago. Along with this change in setting, I'll give you a new form as well. He did tell us what his ideal woman would look like once, remember? Oh my god! A stylish woman with long golden hair like a foreign model. Golden hair. Long hair. Style. Yeah. Something like that. That's what the new Beatrice will look like. Come now. Hold that bud of love in your heart as you wait for Battler. This way you will learn of love in exchange for earning pain. Yes, this will be the setting for my new world. For Shannon, a new servant like a little brother will come. He will be a silent, reticent boy. A duty-minded kid who loves Shannon as a sister. And the bud of love that has tortured Shannon will go to the witch, Beatrice. She will just be holding on to the bud of love for the time being. However, while she holds on to it, she will be a maiden in love with Balor. 
By that time, you'll be able to learn what love is. Come, let the world be modified. Oh, I am one yet many. Awaken us, and stretch your wings in this new world. Slowly I opened my eyes to the gentle rays of the morning sun. How long has it been since I last saw such a pleasant morning? The face in my mirror is tear-stained and pathetic. However, my heart is as clear as the morning sun. I can still clearly remember that strange dream. However, I can feel myself forgetting it rapidly. The place I was in my dreams had been such a strange place. A peaceful, calm place. There I had left behind the pain I had carried in my chest until yesterday. So this morning my heart was at peace. My tear-stained face really is pathetic. However, my expression is bright and cheery. Even now, I like Valor Sun, but for some reason, I've calmed down. It feels like I put something precious safely away in the place it belongs. Valor Sun, when will you come back, I wonder? When you do, I'd like to talk about mystery novels again. Oh, I almost forgot. A new boy servant will be coming today, right? One of the rare servants who will serve the master directly. What kind of kid will he be? I hope we get along well. What was his name again? I'm pretty sure it was, um, um... Cannon. I'm going to apologize again for that. This video is going to be a little bit shorter. One year later, two years until the crime. <sighs> Sorry. Oh. I know this is shorter than what I usually do, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be better by the next recording, but even regardless, the next recording I will be doing the extra length. Or at least try to. <sighs> Again, I am sorry that this video is marginally shorter than what you guys are used to. But honestly, am I... <laughs> Oh god, my throat fucking hurts. So, if you guys like this, be sure to let me know. Oh my god, though, I... Uh, it's... The fact that it's slowly coming together is making me love this even more. But I am also glad that some of my thoughts were not in vain, that I'm actually right on a couple of these things. And hell, we even got to see how sh how Cannon was born, and that my original theory that Shannon would, you know, put her feelings for Balor into... You know, Beatrice. Or rather, well, it didn't go out exactly how I thought it would. Like, I thought Shannon was just going to throw them onto her, but... No, I guess not. It, just, it didn't go the way I thought it was, but it's still kind of the same thing. But anyway... Oh, good lord. I freaking love Lemmy Neko. If you guys like this, be sure to let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching, and again, I will apologize for the shortness. And I will see you guys in the next video where hopefully I'm feeling better.